Lois Webster wanted to organize an Audubon chapter and she went to the existing bird club and she made a proposal that that group change into an Audubon chapter. They voted it down. So then a group of about 25 of us adjourned to a different room in the museum and formed the chapter there. And that's what Lois wanted to promote. She wanted the bird environmentalists to have a voice uh, in the Denver area. And you never said no to Lois. <laughs> Lois was full of ideas and, and drive. I guess I was president of it for one or two years, um, on the board for several years. But mainly what we've done is have classes for beginning bird watchers, which we've done twice a year since 1979. We were driving somewhere for three hours and we made up 17 requirements and figured it would take a year and we'd have at least 24 field trips. We've seen a lot of the graduates of the Master Birder program become quite active in Denver Audubon. The Breeding Bird Atlas involved surveying blocks three miles on a side, one on each topographic map in the whole state. Denver Audubon had two or three blocks that it took on as its project as part of the atlas. Uh, we've since had a second breeding bird atlas, and each one has resulted in an impressive publication. He wanted to have a field trip that happened monthly, that you didn't have to sign up for, that would be the same place, same time, so people could just come, which starts the Denver Audubon Nature Center. And we basically hike the same trails, and so we get to see the changing cast of birds throughout the year. I write a column called Backyard Birds. It's gone into the warbler for a number of years. And the idea behind it is to report observations by people in Audubon that they see basically in their backyards. The arsenal today as a national wildlife refuge is an absolutely wonderful place to visit. I think um, uh, Denver Audubon in fact was an influence in making that happen. After we uh, started having all this activity at the arsenal, we thought, well, it'd be nice to include the arsenal in a Christmas bird count. And so we drew a circle that covered Northwest Denver. It includes the arsenal, Cherry Creek Reservoir, 10 miles of the South Platte. I would like to have even more activities at the Nature Center. I would like uh, Denver Audubon's conservation activities to receive more publicity. I'd like to see it have more field trips. And in fact, we would much rather do something outside than go to a lecture inside. It's definitely more fun if you're involved in an actual scientific project. How do we make it community friendly? And make it fun. Experiences and make it fun. I do think we're getting more and more people out though. I think more and more people have become aware of the outdoors and concerned. I think it's good for your mental health to be out in wild places and off cement. Getting connected with birds and, and with other wildlife enriches your life, it enriches your soul, and a natural healthy habitat means that a natural healthy uh, environment for people as well as for wildlife.